Hi, I'm Dr. Bertie Sperry, and I want to tell you a story. Actually, Fatima's going to tell you a story. I we do these story prompts, and so I said, Fatima, tell me about a story. But tell me a story about a time you thought you were in trouble, but you weren't. And so this is the story. I haven't heard it yet. So picture this: two thousands. <laughs> I'm in school. I right? told you not to worry about the dates. Go ahead. Don't come back to it. We were in school, and so we hear over the loudspeaker. Bury children to the front office. Bring your things. You're being signed out for the day. <laughs> like in that exact tone. So we get in the hallway. Me and Jabril are looking at each other like, what did you do? I don't know. What did you do? <laughs> and so we get outside. And Mom's standing there waiting at the car like this. Parked in front of the school. <laughs> just standing there. Mm-hmm. Get in the car. You know why I'm here. Get in the car. We were like, oh, my God. What did I do? She was taking us to see Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. I got you out early because I wanted to get in there before the crowds. Mm -hmm. You think you're funny, don't you? <laughs> were you all happy to go to the movie? We were. Yeah, well, see, okay. So sometimes it's good to have people remind you of the things that you've done because clearly I completely forgot all about it. But I had approved with the school and they knew what was up. And so that's why they played along and made it worse than what it really was. Sometimes it is um, necessary for us to look back through the eyes of others at the goodness that we've provided. I love that movie even still. It puts me to sleep. <laughs> I love you. <laughs>